Hi, everybody. Thank you so much for coming to this information session about Prospects results, where we will introduce what it is and explain it in great detail and answer any questions you have about this feature. But before we get to the presentation, I wanted to give a little bit of an introduction to the series that the session is a part of, the previous webinars we have given, and how it has led to this final one, just to set the stage. This is a three-part webinar series about interactivity and Pressbooks using H5P. And to get everyone on the same page, H5P is a user-friendly web tool that instructors can use to create over 50 different kinds of interactivity, interactive activities that they can insert into their Pressbooks. It is offered as a plugin to everyone on the Pressbooks platform, and it is included in your Pressbooks enterprise agreement. So if you have, if your institution has Pressbooks, it is automatically included for all of your students. This can enable what we call active learning, transforming learning from a passive experience to one that is engaging and rewarding. It does this by giving students an opportunity to learn by doing. It by receiving real-time feedback and viewing their progress, students can repeat and focus on the specific sections where they need help. And for you as the instructor, this provides you with the opportunity to create authentic and customizable learning opportunities for your students. Uh, at the first session, we talked all about how to create and adapt H5P activities in Pressbooks. I demonstrated how you can create three activities from scratch and where you can go to find the activities to adapt. At the second session, we heard from three instructors who have experienced creating over 100 different activities for their classrooms of different disciplines. They showed their book and the activities they've created. And further, they talked about the process of creation, use, and the impact of interactive learning on Pressbooks in real life and in real classrooms. The recording of these sessions can be found on our YouTube channel, uh, where you might actually be viewing this, or on our webinar guide that we created for these sessions, which can be found at the following link that I'm going to drop in the chat, and will also be present in the description if you're watching the YouTube video. Um, the session that you're watching today is the third of three parts in continuation of discussing interactivity from its creation to usage in a book. Today, we'll be talking about Pressbooks results, which is the next level of application to improve learning for your students. Uh, building further on the benefits of active learning and immediate feedback, Pressbooks results is a feature that allows H5P activities embedded within Pressbooks to then be attempted by your students for their grade to be recorded in the LMS gradebook. Uh, and this is an additional add-on for uh, on your enterprise agreement. Uh, and we'll talk a little bit about the options that you have to try out Pressbooks results. And we'll obviously cover in great detail what Pressbooks results is. So to further elucidate the details of how Pressbooks results aspires to make learning more immersive, we have John, our sales team lead, who is going to give a short presentation about Pressbooks results. Um, and before we get started, I want to mention a couple of things that we'll come back to at the end of the presentation. If you need to leave early or are interested uh, to those who are in the live uh, session right now, um, if you need to leave early or are interested in Pressbooks results and want to learn more, um, you can fill out a form and we'll send you more information that we aren't able to cover today or if you want to inquire further. Uh, secondly, we'll be hosting a free spring pilot for interest uh, for instructors that are interested in trying out Pressbooks results. Uh, and you can submit that form or send John and I an email. John's email is included in the presentation, and we'd be happy to give you more information. Uh, just as a uh, just as a tidbit, just because I know some people like to leave uh, or, or have other obligations that they need to tend to. So without further ado, I'll pass it over to John, who'll give that presentation about Pressbooks results, and I'll include that form in the chat now. John, I think you're muted. <laughs> Isn't that awesome? <laughs> yeah. uh, thank you, Amy. Uh, as I was just saying, I don't, to myself, it turns out, uh, I don't know how much I'll elucidate, uh, but I'll definitely try. So um, I built this uh, little presentation uh, to discuss formative assessment in OER using Pressbooks results and that feature. So I'm John McLeod, as I mentioned before. This is uh, my contact information, john at pressbooks.com. Um, you can reach uh, uh, both Amy and I through any of the means that you normally do through our premium support or through uh, our individual emails, and we'll make sure that you get, uh, get the information that you need. So in terms of uh, Pressbooks and H5P, uh, I know that uh, Amy's done a great job and, and had a lot of help with, uh, with other instructors showing some of the unique things that they've been doing with H5P. 
But uh, uh, Pressbooks uses this open source software to enable users to add a wide variety of interactive elements to their books. So with results, uh, Pressbooks results for the LMS, the aggregate results of student responses in their H5P activities are passed back to the LMS gradebook. So as discussed in previous webinars, uh, there's over 50 different ways to add interactive elements and to assess learning. Um, and probably about, uh, I think you mentioned uh, Amy in a previous webinar that it was 20 of those response types, uh, about 20, maybe a little bit more, return a can return a grade. So there are some H5P activities that won't return a grade. They're still uh, great interactives uh, and provide a lot of information for the students, uh, but there's 20 different uh, interactive types that will return a grade. So when you are in your H5P hub in Pressbooks, this is the screen that you'll see to start uh, uh, playing with all those interactive types, uh, 51 different content types available now. So uh, if you look just through this right now, the, uh, an interactive video, if you have interactive uh, multiple choice or true false questions built into your interactive video, that will return a grade. Multiple choice questions, obviously, and question sets and fill in the blanks, those will all return grades. But uh, a course presentation with an interactive slide feature, that's not something that you're gonna be able to get a grade for or really nothing that you're assessing. So still a great tool but not great. So um, this is an example that uh, I like to show people because number one, um, it, it's uh, got great content and, and a lot of, uh, it's been adapted a few times and some of those adaptations have just taken that information and added on top of it uh, um, uh, some great interactive features. So this vital sign measurement across the lifespan. Um, and if I go to one of the, um, adaptations of this book. Uh, so BC Campus took this book and uh, they made uh, a number of H5P activities. Um, as discussed again in one of the previous webinars, if you want to see the H5P listing from any book across any Pressbooks network, um, you just take the, the book URL and add the H5P listing to the end of that. Um, so this little string, um, that little string there at the end of your book will show you uh, all the H5P activities listed uh, within the book. So you don't have to scroll through the book to find the H5P activities. Um, and the interactive video that I highlighted there, you can see here, non-contact. I'll just make sure you don't blast anyone's ears with the, the sound here. Um, but you can see that these uh, authors or the authors of this H5P activity have uh, built a video uh, with interactive checks along the way so that students will get a chance to uh, check their learning, check their understanding. So this is built into the book itself and available. Again, um, you can reuse this content or you can embed this video as it is within any of uh, your existing projects. So going back to the presentation, so from the student's perspective, once the book uh, is in your LMS, so I've got uh, a screenshot here of uh, a book that I'll, I'll go get into on our Pressbooks network. Um, so this is uh, a book that uh, is from a uh, neuroscience uh, textbook um, and the H5P activities. Using the LTI uh, that uh, Amy's discussed, uh, you're able to demonstrate and present this book within the LMS for your students. Students can do the H5P activities, and if you've got Pressbooks results uh, enabled uh, in your network, the results of the students' responses will feed back into the gradebook. So instead of having to navigate to another website, um, they can get all that access to the book and to the, the quizzes within uh, your own LMS. And then uh, instructors will see uh, student responses. Right now, what they'll see in the grade book is a cumulative grade based upon uh, the chapters. So you can see here, uh, we've got a, uh, uh, a class and we've got a number of chapters from a, a different book. And what you'll see here is the student's uh, cumulative response out of the grade and what their 
uh, total grade is across the assignments. When we have done pilots in the past, we've solicited feedback from instructors and students. So uh, students reported uh, during these pilots that with uh, Pressbooks results enabled, uh, students obviously had access to the H5P, act H5P activities in uh, Pressbooks text right in their LMS. Um, and they were able to get formative feedback by interacting with those H5P activities. Um, they can review, retake H5P activities to increase their understanding. And they really like receiving the grade and knowing how they were doing based upon the results uh, and getting that feedback directly in uh, the grade book. And when we solicited instructor experience and what they uh, felt with great uh, Pressbooks results enabled, instructors who create H5P activities to increase their interactive elements of their books um, instructors using Pressbooks results reported to us that um, grade passback informed them who in the class was using the resources created by the instructor. If you've created a, a, a book, an open access book, it's a, a tremendous amount of work. And what uh, I thought was an interesting comment from uh, our uh, 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 instructors was that they weren't sure before they used Pressbooks results who was actually doing the reading. So they had spent all this time doing the work to develop a great resource for students, but they still didn't know who was doing it. So uh, using Pressbooks results and getting students uh, to get uh, a grade report uh, passed back to the, the grade book, let them know who was doing that work. Um, and they also told us anecdotally that students who did the work in Pressbooks results did better in the course overall. I think that uh, it's something that we hope, but it was, uh, and it almost goes without saying that students who do the work are going to do better, but uh, getting that confirmation was really great for instructors. And Pressbooks results let instructors see when students engage with the readings. So they could see uh, from the grade book whether students were engaging with the readings before classes, if they had suggested that, or if there was something that they were doing after class. And it was also something that they were able to see uh, if students who did uh, the reading before class also did better in the course. And so you can uh, draw those correlations out and, and hopefully get students to see, um, to follow your instructions and, and to see how they do. Uh, so um, we like that, uh, that emphasis uh, and, and we want to give instructors more information about the learning that was taking place. So what's next for Pressbooks results? is our development team is building new tools uh, to increase the visualization of the learning progression. So they're building right now a new learning record store that they're gonna be releasing uh, right away. Uh, and it's enabled so that instructors and students get a better view of the results. So they're gonna get an item by item versus, versus a cumulative view. In that great book that I showed before, great, you got six out of 10, right? What six did you get right? What did you get wrong? Where do you need to work uh, to improve? Um, so they're building um, a viewer uh, so that you can look further into your responses and into your class's responses. So you can focus in on your whole class here, or uh, you can use the drop down to focus in on just specific students within the class that maybe need work. Or you can even look at each item and decide you know, is this an issue for the whole class? Do I need to change what I'm uh, doing in class to improve on their understanding? Or is it uh, localized to, to a few students? So, or is it a bad question? Uh, heaven knows uh, writing questions uh, is a talent uh, and it's uh, maybe more of an art than a science, um, but you can uh, use those results to inform how you're uh, uh, writing your questions and uh, getting that feedback from students. And so, Amy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much, John. Um, I just wanted to end off this presentation, not the session, just the presentation by saying, you just learned about what Pressbooks, what H5P is on Pressbooks, what, what it looks like on Pressbooks, um, the applications of it, what Pressbooks results is, and all the changes that are coming. And something that we have been doing at Pressbooks is this quarter, or the semester we're hosting a, we're doing a free, we're running a 
free fall pilot on Pressbooks results where we have about nine instructors using Pressbooks results for free. Um, so we're hoping that we can run this again in the spring with a much larger cohort of people. If you're interested in trying out Pressbooks results entirely for free, um, as John mentioned, uh, obviously this is connected with your LMS. So this also requires an LTI integration. All of it for the spring would be free. Uh, if you are interested in participating or you want to learn more, like I had mentioned, if you've made it until now, um, that form is there again, the one, the same one that I had put in the chat. Uh, so you can fill that out if you're interested. There's no obligation, but we will send you more information about the uh, about Pressbooks results or the pilot. So if that is of interest to you, do let us know. Um, and it's just a way for us to field interest so that we, we know who's out there who might be interested in trying it out. Um, the other thing is you might be interested. We're showing you all the you know, the the high level parts about Pressbooks results and what it would look like for the students. But you might be wondering, what does it look like for the instructor and for the network manager, which I know many of you are um, as, as, you know, the champion at your institution. So if that's, if any of that is of interest to you, we have demonstrations of that publicly available on our YouTube page. So um, if you want to see the integration or how easy or difficult or what, what it would look like for the instructor, it's all there. Um, and uh, so, yeah, that's that's sort of the, those are the resources that I wanted to share. Um, and I'll pass it over to John to wrap up, wrap up the presentation. Yeah, uh, thanks, Amy. As uh, Amy mentioned, um, you can let us know if you are interested by filling out the form. Uh, and uh, we'll once we get that form, we'll make sure a that you're set up uh, with the correct LTI. Um, and give you some more information around that. But uh, please do let, uh, if you're an administrator, a, a Pressbooks administrator, let others on your campus know if you have authors that uh, you think would be interested in using this tool, um, then I think it's a great way to uh, to get that chance and, and uh, get them into uh, Pressbooks results with all the new features that we'll be building. So I'm available. Uh, you can reach me either at john at pressbooks.com or reach out to our sales team in general at sales at pressbooks.com and, and we'll get back to you on that. Um, and uh, as Amy mentioned, the form's available and uh, we'll immediately, well, I should caution immediately. We will get back to you right away so that uh, we can make sure that you're set up and ready for fall uh, and for January. So thank thanks. You so much, John. Yeah, thanks, Amy. All right, we have a couple of questions in the chat. Um, does anyone, if if you have more questions, uh, let me know. But uh, we'll start with the ones that are. Um, in the chat. So let us have a look. Um, Melissa asked, I see a lot of instructors using H5P objects as an embed rather uh, rather than either pulling a file or copying the material over onto their own Pressbook. Is there a way when using Pressbooks results that you can filter results to ensure you're not getting data from external users? So with Pressbooks results, it's a unique LTI integration with your network. So that means that only the students who have access to your LMS instance are the ones whose grades would be getting recorded because anything that's done outside of the LMS would not be getting recorded. So um, you should not in incur a situation where uh, external users would have their grades recorded in the when in the LMS gradebook. It would only be those who are added to that course in your LMS. Um. Uh, Julian, that's, that's a, that's, I didn't know that, but that's a, I, I appreciate you raising that in the, in the chat. Um, okay. Huh. Uh, Julie said we hit a bit of a roadblock with a pilot when we realized that students could use the embed code within the LMS to go to the book and see the H5P activities on there. So they could quote unquote game the system and practice the activities outside the LMS before doing them inside the LMS for marks. So, I uh, one of the perks about using an LTI 1.3 connection, which Pressbooks results requires that you have, is that you can upload private books onto your LMS. So if you keep your books privated, then they shouldn't have access to any of the content on the book. And that way they wouldn't be able to access any part of the book uh, when they go to attempt it outside of the 
like it, if they click on if they even have a link to the exact chapter or an exact file they should they hypothetically shouldn't be able to locate it in the book if that is not the case then we'll definitely relay that to our dev team but um that privating your book should prevent them from being able to see any of the content outside of the LMS. Um, if they if they inspect the source code, I'm not too sure what the answer would be there. Uh, that that would be a truly a gaming of the system that uh, <laughs> is highly tech uh, like highly adept students at technology. Uh, I, I can inquire about that with my team. Um, and and specific to to Julian's uh, response there, actually, Amy, th that is something that H5P recognizes and uh, is cautioned not to use H5P for high stakes. So um, this is, uh, you know, as the if we went back to the opening slide for this presentation, this is about formative assessment. So hopefully that students are not getting a, a grade that is big enough to uh, warrant or not warrant. Uh, warrants the wrong word, but to uh, to get them to think about cheating um, so that it's more a, a, a formative grade so that uh, they're able to practice those activities and demonstrate their own learning. I know that might be a idealistic kind of view, but that's what the tool is suggested for. Thanks, John. All right, does anyone have any other questions? open to feedback as well. A part of the reason why we're doing the pilot is uh, so that we can receive feedback. Um, it's like, a, it's like you get to try it out and we get to receive your awesome extensive feedback. So uh, if you do see any issues or anything that you, that catches your eye, we're more than open to hear about it. We want to encourage a collaborative process with our clients. So um, you can also send us an email letting us know that there's something that caught your eye. That's also super fair. All right, well, I will stop the recording here.